last question before we open up two questions from the audience is what advice do you have for, I know, it's a big one. Get ready. What advice do you either have, and sometimes it's helpful if you're like a younger you, like when you started your channel, if you could give yourself advice, or to a younger audience member who is starting their own channel. I, this is <laughs> advice to myself, which I haven't yet fully like realized. You know when you know something objectively, but your body and brain's just like, you can't process it right. I need to just keep repeating it to myself. Not everyone is gonna like you, and that's okay. I wish. I wish I could really believe that, but that's advice I'd give myself now and earlier and for the future. Mine is basically don't be afraid to block and delete. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, if there's like one or two people that are making your life hell on YouTube and it's making you think, I don't want to do this anymore, I you know, you are fully within your right to block and delete. I would say I think us as human beings in general are the kind of people that always want to put your best self out there and you um, you always want to make sure that everyone that you're around likes you or agrees with you and everything that you say doesn't upset anyone or annoy anyone and I think obviously like I said earlier because we have that this backlog of us growing as people and then you it's impossible to hide your imperfections. It's impossible to hide the fact that you're human and that you don't necessarily know everything and you've got a very specific perspective on things. And I think my advice is just to sort of like, just let it, let it be, do you know what I mean? Just let it all air out and it doesn't matter if it's not perfect. It's like, it's fine, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it doesn't have to be about curating or orchestrating the perfect life and making sure that you you edit out all the imperfections you know what I mean it's just like it's like the equivalent of posting a selfie with no makeup it's like it's it's, it's fine yeah. in the grand scheme of things it's fine it's yeah. <laughs> that's it. and also talking to people like don't let one comment just like right. let it eat you up on the inside and sort of you know it will be there every time you're checking your notifications or every time you go back to that video I think just if no matter what you do with that comment have a chat with someone about it like talk to your friends talk to your parents whatever like make sure that it's not just you dealing with it if you feel like it's really like hitting you yeah like if you get a really bad comment just like call a friend and say oh my god you won't believe what this comment <laughs> yeah, says have a little, like, yeah have a rant for like 20 and then when you when you're done you'll feel so much better and then you'll you'll just move on from that yeah no i agree and i think something that has it's like empowering you i think that's kind of like the goal what i would tell like when katie that started her youtube channel was like what is this that i'm doing now you know yeah. like what is this interweb and how do we <laughs> connect people i think back then i would like go back and tell myself like you don't have to respond because that yeah. took me a while to like get a hold of and be like i don't they aren't worthy of my time mm -hmm. and i think feeling that and like owning it be like why would i engage with this person they're a jerk. Yeah. I don't talk to jerks in my real life. Exactly. And I think that that's really empowering to know that, like, hey, if you don't like someone, if someone's being a total ass, you can just be like, I'm not going to respond. Yeah. I think that's really empowering. Also, I think there's there's so much strength in that vulnerability of, of knowing that you've got to put your life out there to the extent where you will have hiccups and you will have moments of weakness and you will have... A, a Twitter rant that you delete 10 minutes later and, and being, a, being strong enough to say, I'm still gonna do this, yeah. I think is way more valuable than being saying that I'm gonna stop doing this or I'm gonna delete all of my videos and I'm never gonna do this again. And sort of, because at that point you're almost stronger than the person who is leaving that hate comment. So even if your insecurities are being aired out to the entire world and people can make a list of all of the things that you hate about yourself, you, your, that vulnerability is much, much stronger than the person who is leaving that hate comment. Yeah, and I think it is important, Jana said this earlier, but I think it's an important message to hear is that like, the hate really isn't about you, yeah. it's about them. Mm -hmm. And we all know like, when we really feel bad that we are like, putting anger and hate out there because we feel so angry and hateful. And so every time someone leaves something like, like that, I always think, wow, they must be having a really be hard time, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And so if I can kind of put it in that perspective or if it helps to be like, wow, their life must be terrible. Yeah. Like sometimes it helps to be like, oh, they must be in a shithole right now. <laughs> because then you're like, Pah. but yeah. at the same time, it's the truth. Like they're totally yeah. projecting. They like, don't know you. Yeah, like, think, think about what kind of state of mind you have to be to leave a comment like that. And it's like, you'd have to... Have, have be having the worst day and being like in a very dark place to to feel that to feel the need to go on someone's 
social media platform and not actually know them and feel such like an anger and aggression towards them, yeah. you've got to be in a very specific state of mind and therefore that is way more about you than the person that you're hating on or you're trolling. Totally, totally. So just remember that. It's not yeah. really about you. They don't even know you.